Welcome to Goobertown Hobbies, my name is Brent. Today I'm gonna show you how to make and paint the legendary Clown Spike Gits. These are one part goblin, one part aquatic themed onesie, and 100% business. The first thing you need is a miniature goblin. This here is a night goblin archer. We're gonna use some green stuff putty to modify his hoodie. Before we start, we're gonna pause and look at a real clownfish. References are super useful when you're trying to make fine art. We're gonna do our best to make these goblin pajamas look like a photorealistic Amphiprion Ocellaris clownfish. The pointed cap gives us a useful bit of structure. I'm gonna fill in the front of the hood to make the rounded face of the clownfish. The curve of the hood is pretty much where the gills would be if this was a real fish. Behind the hood and down the back, I'm trying to shape the two dorsal fins. I'm not a great sculptor, but that doesn't matter. The silhouette of a model is a major contributor to the overall feel, so I'm just doing my best to get the outline right. Once it was close enough, I did my best to wipe away the fingerprints. I put a little divot in for the mouth, and I declared victory. There we go! The silhouette seems about right. After the green stuff had hardened, I came back with a little bit of Vallejo plastic putty to fill in some gaps and cracks. This is also good for hiding those fingerprints. I primed the gits white, and then I painted them orange. Lava orange as a base, and a layer of yellowy incursion orange on top. The airbrush really isn't necessary, but it is fast and convenient. Now let's get some easy stuff out of the way. Green skin, brown for the bows and arrows, and light brown for the slippers. And all this time I'm getting psyched up. I'm getting pumped up for painting some stripes. Let's consult the source material again. Three white stripes, before, after, and between the two dorsal fins. They each have a distinctive curve to them, and they're each rimmed with black. Okay, we can do this. Now nothing is really white. What I'm using is a light gray with a pretty good coverage to block out the stripes. There's a classic look for clownfish like this. The first stripe curves away from the head and kind of follows the gills. The second stripe starts between the dorsal fins and it kind of bulges out towards the direction of the head. The third stripe is the smallest and it comes right after the second lobe of the dorsal fin. And now we need to trace a black line between the white and the orange. For the fun of it, I tried using a micron pen, but a brush would have been fine too. In nature, this black line varies in thickness a bit, so we've got some flexibility here. I also used black to dot the eyes. And yeah, this is looking cool. This is gonna work. To clean up the edges of those black lines, I used some high opacity orange from Vallejo. It has good coverage, but I think this is more of a salmon color. That's okay, salmon is a type of fish too. Those beautiful goblin faces got a dark green wash to really bring out their frown lines. For the robes, I'm using a red-brown flesh wash in targeted locations. This only goes in the deepest folds, and it helps to give them depth. Then I switched to a bright yellow-orange color to highlight the robes a bit. I used a bright green to highlight their skin, and somewhere in there, I also gave them pointy teeth and beady red eyes. And just like that, the Clown Spike Gits are ready to go. Looking good, lads. Looking good. Now as we stop to reflect on this project, we may find ourselves asking why. Why did we do this? Why would anyone do this? Well, my friends, there's a circus coming to town. An army of clown goblins is assembling. You should go see my friend Fiverr over at Sugar Candy Miniatures to learn more. Sugar Candy Miniatures the number one stop for clown goblins. A ton of other content creators are contributing, and it's gonna be extra special. Just imagine, a whole gaggle of goblins dressed like circus clowns, and then these three gits show up dressed like clownfish. Somebody did not get the memo. They went all out with their aquatic onesies, but now they're showing up to a party of straight up clowns. These three are gonna start blaming each other for dressing up like fish, and they're gonna be extra grumpy. Super crotchety gits. It's gonna be great. Well, that's about it for this time. Thanks so much for watching. 